Hi everybody, Healthy Prepper here. Here's a way to uh, store your dry milk for longer term, yet still keep it easily accessible to you anytime you need to dip into your uh, dry milk store. Um, I'm in the process of reorganizing my pantry and I'm looking at each and every food item to see if it is in the best possible uh, container for long term food storage purposes. And um, I would say these paper boxes that the milk come in comes in is not the ideal way to store milk for long term so I wanted to change its container and what I have are these Ziploc Mylar bags they're my new latest and greatest uh, find and I'm very excited about them this is a one gallon bag and what I I've already tried this several times and what I found is with this particular style bag um, you want to make sure that when you're transferring any kind of powder substance into the bag that you do not get powder residue where you're going to have the seal. So with the powdered milk, what I decided to do was use a Ziploc bag, regular Ziploc bag, inside the Mylar bag in order to get the powder in there without getting the powder everywhere. So let me just transfer from this other one. I'm going to put some powdered milk in the Ziploc. These are gallon, regular Ziploc bags. Now the reason I'm just not using this kind of Ziploc bag to store the milk in is because light can get through it and the bag is very thin. It might get a pinhole very easily, allowing oxygen in. The milk might go rancid or bad or get bugs in it. I don't want that to happen. So, let's see how much we have in there. I'll put more in there than that. Alrighty, just getting the milk in there. Now remember these bags, when you're done, they're designed so that you can go in and out of them easily. Okay, that's good for demonstration purposes. Yeah. Now I am going to put some oxygen absorbers in here. I'm going to put two in because this is a bigger bag and you can replace those periodically over time as you go in and out of the bag but for right now I'm just going to put two in there and I'm going to seal this bag. Now those oxygen absorbers are going to help handle the oxygen that's inside this bag. If at any time there's a pierce in this bag it, they're also going to help deal with the oxygen that might be in the bigger bag. Now this particular style of Mylar Ziploc bag opens at the bottom. You load from the bottom. And remember, this is your top, obviously, where the Ziploc is. So you want to put your top of your plastic Ziploc where your top of your Mylar Ziploc is. So make sure you have a good seal. And then just nestle it into a shape so it can easily go into the bag. Pop it in there. Like putting a little baby into it, it's bunting. Okay. I could probably get another smaller bag in there, but for demonstration purposes, we'll just work with this for now. So I've got my mylar, my oxygen absorbers, the milk. Now I'm just going to heat seal the bottom of this bag. And if you don't have a heat sealer, you can use a flat iron. It's like a curling iron, but it's flat. You would just press two or three times across here holding it for a few minutes at each spot so the seal occurs. But if you've got a uh, vacuum sealer, you can use the heating device, the heating element, to seal the Mylar bag. And that's making a seal right across there now. And you can always double seal it if you want to do that. Um, I'm going to test my seal. Looks like it's sealed, but I'll show you what a double seal will look like. Basically the same thing, you just double seal it. That way it gives you extra protection. Remember, if you pour a powdered substance into the Mylar bag directly and then try to seal it, you may have powder residue where you're trying to seal and the seal may not take. 
So it's a good idea to do something like this with a Ziploc. So that's a very good seal. This is the bottom of the bag. Nice tight seal all the way across. That's what you want. All right, and that's pretty much it. There, I've got my milk in a bag ready to go. Here is a completed one. And what I did was I took the label off the top of the box and I just taped it onto the front so I know what is in here. And it's a good idea to put the date on here as well. And that's it, folks. I hope you like this idea for storing uh, powdered food. Take care, everyone. Healthy prepping. Thank you.